I just wanted to talk about the K Committee. Uh, I'm a ceramics designer, I live and work in London, but I have a secret passion, and I think after today it won't be secret anymore. I love making and decorating cakes. Okay. <laughs> and this is what I want to show everybody. So once the first slide comes up, I shall press the go button and see what happens. Oh, here it is. Oh, it looks perfect. The cake committee. Why is there a cake committee? Well, I love baking and I hate putting on weight, so I don't bake. And I found loads and loads of my friends, they feel the same way. So I got them all together, and they're all really creative people. So I want to channel their creativity in doing something that's really interesting and raise money for charity. So we have the Cake Committee four times a year. Uh, we meet always on a Sunday from two to four for four hours. And we open the doors, invite various people to come and eat cake. This presentation is going to be full of images rather than me chatting away. And if you feel hungry afterwards, don't blame me. OK. <laughs> so the first, the inaugural cake committee meeting, which is wonderful. And it's very simple. We make homemade cakes. It looks great. But it's not like, you know, restaurant. We don't want to do restaurant cake or cakes with curls and flowers and things. Well, there are flower petals on there, but you know what I'm talking about, fancy. So they're very basic, basic things. So, um, and I'll just run through this. And so, Natasha and I, I think we're cake cutting our first slice of cake to serve people. If I remember correctly, that is a blueberry cream cheese buttercream cake. So quite modest, nothing that wonderful. Then more cakes, of course. So cakes and I work really well because making ceramics, you use your hands, you get dirty, and it's just the same thing. And you weigh things. That's very important about making cakes, weighing. And what we do is we love, oh, this is a really important slide. I have to stop here and talk very briefly. So on the left-hand side, you see a friend of mine called uh, Jake Tilson. Jake is a cookery writer and a graphics designer. So he bakes and he designs and makes his own packagings for the cake to go into. And on the other side, which is absolutely marvelous, the macaroons, the best in the world. You have to come to a cake committee to taste it. It's by Nora. Nora's in her 60s, and she hasn't baked for over 40 years. So Nora has decided to concentrate on macaroons only and do nothing else. And before she presented the macaroons to us, she spent two months baking every day to perfect her technique. It is quite incredible. And she has a day job as well. So we like a bit of kitsch, so it's not all wonderful good taste as you can see. So you can see our presentation has gone up a little bit, uh, a few notches. So this is what we call our cake pornography time. So half an hour before we open the doors to everybody, we all sit together and go, oh, look at this, isn't that wonderful? Ooh and ah to everybody else. So that's how it goes. So this is about 10 minutes after the door is open. You can see they're doing quite serious damage to it. <laughs> and, uh, and, and this is near the end. The building is a very interesting building. It's built in 1875 in Elephant Castle, South London. And it is one of the first, I was told this, I can't verify this, uh, I was told it's one of the first live-work building that was built in the UK. Nora, the macaroon queen, with Jeff, her husband. Uh, we have a Japanese uh, photographer and journalist come all the way from Tokyo to photograph our cakes. Uh, some more members, Natasha Daintree and uh, David. I've forgotten his surname, but it doesn't matter. We always give out free tea. You need a really strong British cup of tea to wash the cakes down in case you kind of overdose on sugar. We have associates around the world, and they are called slices. So we have a slice in South Africa, and we have a slice in Maine in USA. So this is the South Africa slice. I just wanted to show this because I'm very jealous of their cakes. They have amazing natural uh, produce, and the milk is really beautiful, so it tastes fantastic. And this is the venue that they show their cake. Uh, that they host the cake committee in. It's an 1880 old Victorian hotel. So you can see why I'm jealous now. This is my favorite, favorite photograph of all times. Happy customers mean happy charity. We mustn't forget that I set the cake committee up to raise funds for various different charities. And our motto is eat generously. 
And thank you very much. And on behalf of the Cake Committee, thank you for allowing us to present you our passion. Thank you.